At the very pulse of life, there is a complex and tireless network working every second to keep us active and healthy. A powerful engine and a vast system of pathways ensuring that every corner of our body receives exactly what it needs. Welcome back to our channel, where the science of health becomes clear and accessible. Today, our journey takes us to the very core of our organism, the cardiovascular system. Have you ever wondered how blood reaches every part of your body, carrying vital oxygen and nutrients? How the heart, this relentless organ, manages to pump day and night without ever stopping? And what are the key components that make all of this possible? In this video, we will explore the fascinating world of the cardiovascular system, from the powerful cardiac pump to the intricate network of arteries, veins, and capillaries. This knowledge is crucial for healthcare professionals, especially in nursing, who deal with cardiovascular health daily and for anyone who wants to better understand their body and how to protect it. Get ready to unlock the secrets of your circulatory system. The cardiovascular system, also known as the circulatory system, is fundamentally composed of three central elements, the heart, the blood vessels, and the blood that flows through them. Let's break down each one. The heart is the engine of this system a hollow, muscular organ roughly the size of a clenched fist, located in the center of the chest and tilted slightly to the left. It is divided into four chambers, two atria, the upper chambers which receive blood, and two ventricles, the lower chambers which pump blood out of the heart. The right side of the heart deals with oxygen-poor venous blood. The right atrium receives blood that is circulated throughout the body, and the right ventricle pumps it to the lungs, where it will be reoxygenated. Meanwhile, the left side of the heart works with oxygen-rich arterial blood, coming from the lungs. The left atrium receives this oxygenated blood, and the left ventricle, the heart's strongest chamber, pumps it forcefully to the rest of the body through the aorta. Cardiac valves, tricuspid, pulmonary, mitral, and aortic, act like one-way doors, ensuring that blood flows in the correct direction and preventing backflow. This constant coordinated pumping is what we call a heartbeat, a cycle of contraction, systole, and relaxation, diastole. If the heart is the pump, the blood vessels are the network of highways that transport the blood. There are three main types. Arteries. These vessels carry blood away from the heart to the rest of the body. They usually carry oxygen-rich blood, except for the pulmonary artery. They have thick, elastic walls to withstand the high pressure from the heart's pumping action. Veins. These vessels bring blood from the tissues back to the heart. They usually carry oxygen-poor blood, except for the pulmonary veins. Their walls are thinner than arteries, and many veins, especially in the lower limbs, have valves to prevent blood from flowing backward due to gravity. Capillaries. These are the smallest blood vessels, forming a microscopic network that connects arterioles, small arteries, to venules, small veins. Their walls are extremely thin, just a single cell layer, which allows for the exchange of oxygen, nutrients, carbon dioxide, and waste between the blood and the body's cells. This is where the real delivery and pickup happens. Blood is the vital fluid that circulates through this network carrying everything needed. It consists of plasma, the liquid yellowish part, which transports blood cells, nutrients, hormones, and waste. Red blood cells, or erythrocytes. They contain hemoglobin, the protein that binds to oxygen and carries it from the lungs to the tissues. White blood cells, or leukocytes. 
These are our body's defense cells, fighting off infections. Platelets, tiny cell fragments essential for blood clotting, helping to stop bleeding. The cardiovascular system operates through two main circuits. The pulmonary circuit, oxygen-poor blood is pumped from the right ventricle to the lungs via the pulmonary artery. In the lungs, it releases carbon dioxide and picks up oxygen. This now oxygenated blood returns to the left atrium of the heart through the pulmonary veins. The systemic circuit. Oxygen-rich blood is pumped from the left ventricle to the entire body through the aorta and its branches. After delivering oxygen and nutrients to the tissues and collecting waste, the now oxygen-poor blood returns to the right atrium of the heart via the vena cava veins. Understanding this dynamic is fundamental for nursing professionals when monitoring vital signs like pulse and blood pressure, and in identifying changes that could indicate cardiovascular problems. And so we've navigated the complex and vital network of the cardiovascular system, from the powerful beat of the heart to the microscopic exchange in the capillaries, each component works tirelessly to sustain life in every cell of our body. It is a true masterpiece of biological engineering. For healthcare professionals, especially in nursing, mastering the function of the cardiovascular system is the foundation for accurate assessment, effective intervention, and the promotion of heart health. For all of us, understanding this system is the first step toward valuing and adopting habits that keep it strong and healthy for a lifetime. Remember, your heart and your blood vessels are your most precious allies. Take good care of them, and they will take good care of you. What else would you like to learn about the cardiovascular system? Do you have any questions or topic suggestions? Share them with us in the comments. Your engagement is essential for us to continue creating relevant content. If this video was helpful for you, don't forget to like, share it with someone who needs this information, and subscribe for more explorations of the human body. Thank you for joining us, and until the next beat of knowledge.